Welcome back to Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. We have gained the knowledge of how to get the bean fruits. Now it's just uh, the matter of hunting them down. Always refer to your map if you're ever lost. And uh, did I mention that this map system is not that great? <laughs> yeah, I was going to actually ask that in the last part, but... Back, back in my youth, some games came with printed out maps. Was this by chance one? Because maybe, I, maybe they gave you a physical map, so you didn't need a good in-game map. No, they don't give you a map. They just give you a vague location of where each bean fruit is located. But. Basically, you just got to keep in mind that there's these flower patches to keep an eye out for, and yeah, you can find your bean fruit that way. They're not very well hidden. Not yet. <laughs> no. Pirates, they mark the spot with a big X. Yoshis, they mark the spot with a circle of flowers. Flowers that are uh, less menacing than a big red X. <laughs> but, <laughs> but when they're the only flowers in the surrounding area, they do stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah. So, I believe that's the intention of, uh, it's like, hey, dumbass, there's a bean fruit right here. <laughs> no, and hey, we get our next bean fruit over here. That giant flower tower also is a bit of a scream. Something is over away. here. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, we're not sure that the circle of flowers is enough. <laughs> we should add this pillar that, like, is animated as well. Well, you know. I feel like we're in Dora the Explorer or whatever. Dora the Explorer. Do you where know some... where the next bean fruit is? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very <laughs> good. Except it, instead of uh, in uh -oh. Spanish, we're in Italian because, you know. <laughs> oh, okay, so hold on. Let me get my proper Italian uh, impersonation going here. Potato. <clears throat> I feel like I am offending Italians I was, out there. I, I deeply apologize. I was like, what the actual fuck? <laughs> you know, because that's what, how Mario and Luigi speaks in the game. They're Italians. They're just... There are also video game characters that are just generally speaking in gibberish. <laughs> I... God. <laughs> I do hey, not approve of, no. of, of uh, that tr Italian translation. It's, hey, you know what? It's not my fault that's how the game taught me. <laughs> We're Blame going. the game, not hey. the player. You know what? I know an owl that you should talk to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think that just leaves one more brain, fr uh, brain, um, bean fruit for us to uh, get, and uh, we actually have to uh, go a bit out of our way to get this one. I know this is edited, anyway, but it does seem like this is relatively quick to do. Yeah, it is. Anyway, this is an area where we can find our next uh, golden Montimo, and uh, we'll save this one a bit later. But as to where the final bean fruit is, well... We do have to go a bit out of our way to uh, obtain it. It's a bit of a puzzle, but hey, you know what? I guess our RPG's gotta have a little bit of puzzle in it sometimes. Mix it up a little. And platforming. 
You know, your favorite platforming. Uh huh. I was looking at, it, or I was watching a uh, gameplay of something the other day. Went, well, that might be fun for you and I to play together. And I was like, yeah, the, the basis of this whole game is being is platforming while being tied to another person. So you would be doing platforming, not constantly me making you fall down to the ground. <laughs> Does that just sound fun for you? Oh, it sounds wonderful. <laughs> 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 but uh, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, just gotta make your way under the gate, and oh hey look, there's another bean for I don't know who the fuck are you? Oh. <laughs> well, whatever it is, it certainly loves that bean fruit. Yeah, yep. I think dude might need to lay off the bean fruit a little. <laughs> anyway, just use your hand power up to do uh, damage against this uh, piranha plant enemy, and uh, yeah, it's not that hard of a battle. Everything will be ch okay. I guess you could say everything will be just peachy. <laughs> oh, wait, what the hell was that? It looks like he's wearing little booty shorts. <laughs> he's wearing a itsy bitsy teeny weeny white polka white dot polka dot bikini. Yes. <laughs> You'd love to see it. Or maybe you don't. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. We're just gonna continue pummeling this guy to the ground, and hey, look at that. Aww, and not only will you spit out, out. Oh. Spit out something. Is that. Prince. Yeah, it is. I remember the last time we saw you. Fucking kinky ass prince. <laughs> You've grown up so much, Luigi. <laughs> of course, he's not too fond of being that body size. Yeah, of course, he's not fond of being small. He prefers to be big. Yeah. Remember, there's nothing wrong with size. <laughs> Ow, you're a real zero, I mean hero. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Be careful, Luigi. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a fanfic out there about these two, I'm sure. But, uh, I'm not, I don't care enough to really delve into that. <laughs> I, I'm gonna look at that right now. Oh my Luigi goodness. <laughs> but anyway, we got the final bean fruit. Fantastic. Uh, I will say, all I did was just search Luigi and Prince Peasley, and the very first thing I get is the shipping wiki. <laughs> of course. Well, Gosh. thanks to the help of Peasley, question mark, uh, we got the final uh, bean fruits, and now we're on our way to get our next bean star piece. Their ship name is Weasley. I might be pronouncing that wrong. I'm not. I'm not even. No, I'm just. I'm not gonna acknowledge that. <laughs> Not that, you know, not, not, not because, you know, I don't care for, like, uh, but I, I just, uh, <laughs> because you prefer Luigi and Bowser. It's okay. Most people do. Uh, yeah, <laughs> obviously I prefer Luigi and Bowser. <laughs> That's the modern day, Lu uh, Luigi ship. Anyway, now that we got the bean fruits, we now got to find the tuckered out Yoshis. Give them a bean fruit and uh, witness Aww. 
The birthing of the neon egg. Is it really birthing if it's an egg? I mean, it's an egg. Yeah, but isn't like would you would you birth would you rather it be birth uh, birthing out an egg or pooping out an egg? Wait, well, I don't think, I don't think either of those terms are correct. <laughs> well, you let me know if you can find a proper term for it. Uh, I mean, I have Google at my fingertips, as we have seen. <laughs> well, you go on ahead and do that while I'm in the process of feeding these Yoshis. Yes, please, please feed the babies. <laughs> But otherwise, getting this bean star piece is not that hard. This is bean star piece number three, by the way. <laughs> and then we'll be getting the fourth and final bean star piece. I don't know if we'll be getting it in this very same video, but uh, that would be crazy if we get it in the same video. But hey, you know, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Only one this has been. This has been. How long since I've edited this? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. Bear with me, please. I'm only one man. <laughs> uh, I'm not finding what I want. Oh, it's very unf damn! I why am I yawning? Um, uh, um. Anyway, um. Well, that's 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 a shame. Anyway, now that we got the neon eggs, we just give them to bottle, and we get the bean star piece oh, for our trouble. I am so stupid, laying an egg. Oh. <laughs> That didn't even come up on Google. I just my brain like kicked into gear. The the sleep deprivation eased for a moment, and I could see clearly. <laughs> so just clearly enough, I could feel like an idiot. <laughs> anyway, all of the Yoshi's are happy, and we got the third Bean Star piece. Yay! And we will never see them again. So, say goodbye to the Yoshis. Oh, bye Yoshis. Have fun I mean, you laying can't... your eggs. <laughs> Have fun pooping out your eggs. Birthing your eggs. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Have fun laying your birth poops. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely going to be the title of this video. <laughs> I was hoping so. <laughs> <laughs> hey look a new war pipe which we obviously need to take to chucklehuck woods because that's where our next bean star is our final bean star and no i'm not gonna bother f fighting the enemies in this area because what would be the point they give such little experience now, I just don't want to bother. It's not worth the grind. No, it's not. But yeah, you need to return to Chucklehuck Woods and then, uh, you just gotta remember, hey, there's one section that we couldn't really get past and that's because, well, now that we have the, uh, fire hand move, the fire dash move, whatever you want to call it, um... Yeah, we now have access to a different part of Chucklehuck Woods that we have not accessed before. Look at the fun, the excitement of coin collecting. Woo. Oh, look, it's my favorite fucking block. We all know how much I love this block, let me tell ya. I, I I will at some point think of t 
10 other things I'd rather do than collect coins from this block. <laughs> but, uh... Number one, laying an egg. Number two, <laughs> no. birthing an egg. Number three, <laughs> pooping an egg. Number four, <laughs> prop it, prop it, prop it. Okay, I'm done speaking. You, you just, you just, you just continue this commentary without me. I'm just gonna stay silent. <laughs> Number five, that t-shirt game. <laughs> Number six, uh, whatever Mallet's brother name is. Sledge? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we don't, we don't, we, we're not allowed the sacred passage. Unless we get to the, uh, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> Have I mentioned this? It's been a while since I've edited these videos, and now I just can't remember the names of these guys. Yeah. I oh, don't... The, the Winkle Coliseum. The Winkles will acknowledge you, yes. <laughs> Our next comment. Anyway, we... Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say that we have to pay, um... 500 coins for entrance. Damn. But, like, yeah, we're gonna pay. Why not? That's right, because their currency exchange out here is madness. I remember that from the earlier episodes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this mini game is not too terrible, but it's still tedious, regardless. Um, it looks like tug of war. It, it's Chuckola Bounce, and basically we gotta bounce the projectiles spat out from these Octorok like statues. It's it's like and a if weird you get, version of Pong. Yeah, and uh, if you get hit, the the time will decrease. You may have noticed a little time limit that's at the bottom of the screen there. Indicated by a snail, and anyway, if you get hit, that snail will go fast. And uh, we gotta get a total of 20 points all together, and if you grab the gold mushrooms, uh, it serves as a, a, a shield, not only as a shield, but also a uh, little uh, reflection device that will help us uh, deflect the balls. Towards it. We're done, by the way. <laughs> we we got enough points. I don't hey, even know why I bother. <laughs> yeah, you can just let yourself get hit and yeah. speed up the snail. Meanwhile, it looks like the snail is sleepwalking. Yeah, it does look like the snail is sleepwalking. I wonder what snails dream about. I wonder if they dream about birthing eggs. I was gonna say becoming slugs, but I like your answer better. <laughs> <laughs> Another great title. What do snails dream about? <laughs> anyway, uh, once we get that. done with, once we get, <laughs> once we get done with uh, this, we get the Winko card. To show off that we are the champions of the... Yeah, I, I really don't care. <laughs> I don't care if I get acknowledged by the Winkles or not. Winkles is a weird name for a group, okay? <laughs> anyway, now we are granted passage. Now that we got the Winkle card, and, uh, yeah. Now we have access to the final Beanstar piece. Woo! The, then they shall be whole again. The Beanstar shall be whole again, that is right. And then Peasley oh. makes the Luigi's whole again, I mean, what? Hi, Popo. Where's Rookie? Whatever happened to Rookie, huh? huh you're nothing without your Rookie, aren't you, Popo? <laughs> oh, Bowser really has it rough in this game. He really does, and it does not get better for him either. Oh, no. 
<laughs> but anyway, solo battle debut time. Just be careful with this guy because uh, he will steal your hammer and will use it against you and you're not able to use the hammer uh, as a certain brother at that point. So, you know, only uh -oh. thing, the, the only tip I can give you is just, you know, deflect his damage, deflect his move, use chopper brothers, use knockback brothers. Is that a rinse repeat? Simple battle. I love his facial expressions. Oh, well, expressions. He, got, he, he got he got my hammer. Fuck you. <laughs> you were just demonstrating. Yep, I sure was. Also, I do love the battle theme for Popo. This soundtrack no. as a whole is amazing. Oh, now he has both of our hammers. Now we can't defend ourselves. How could Not you that he let does. him get our gift from Mallet and Sledge, I guess? <laughs> and Sledge, I guess. <laughs> but what about Sledge? What about Sledge? <laughs> in, in Mallet, we stand. <laughs> get fucked. Oh, hey, now we have our hammer back. Oh, well. <laughs> I do love the sprite animation in this game. It's very... It, it, it has a good charm to it. It is very good. Just throwing random shit. Have some money. Pretty have a bomb. Have a mushroom. Have lots of money. Yeah. Obviously, you don't want to take bombs or poison mushrooms. I think that move is pretty much self-explanatory. This battle is very drawn out. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, man, for this solo debut, he's, uh, he's really holding up. Another point to the 3DS remake, I guess. Hey, Mario's finally level 31. <laughs> And we get four to our badge. Bros point badge points. Can't you tell I've been playing too much Paper Mario recently? <laughs> <laughs> now we have all the four pieces and now we gotta hurry back to Bean Bean Castle. Aww. Bye, Papa. We'll see you again, I'm sure. Buries myself in the ground. You didn't defeat me. I'm just running away <laughs> <laughs> to sneak up on you next time <laughs> you see you messed with me and you messed with rookie and when you mess with rookie and me then you know you gotta you know face the consequences I'm going to fuck you <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, fuck you up popo <laughs> Wow, never thought I'd see the day that I bring a hell of a, uh, not hell of a, has awesome, been hotel. has been hotel reference to our Mario and Luigi commentary, yet yeah, here we are. Get, get your hell right. <laughs> I mean, they, it, 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 it takes place in hell. <laughs> they both take place in hell. Let's... Actually, I think they both anyway. take place in the pride ring. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, we will get to the final. Well, no, we already got the Bean Star piece. I'm losing. My we will thoughts. super glue the Bean Star back together next time.